Hey folks, okay, all right. I had to make an addendum to this particular um, piece uh, simply because the black orb uh, to me just um, is, it, it's really beautiful in person, but it's very, very dark. Um, and I think this gold um, orb actually brings out uh, the gold um, specks here on different areas of the plate. Okay, so this is a, uh, a massive uh, piece of art. And so I, I needed to come on and tell you that, yes, I did have to change it because I felt that the, um, the black orb was just too dark. So let me know in the comment section what you think, if you like the, um, the darker hammered black orb or if you like this uh, gold orb, I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts. Hey folks, it's Robin Clayton here with another episode of Zodice at the Farm, and I'm so glad uh, you could be here with me today. I hope you're having a great day. It's, uh, it's Saturday, uh, the 11th of January, uh, 2020. So, start of a brand new year out there for us. So today, I've got like a really, really beautiful um, three pieces. The color is amazing. I can try and hold this up like this, and then I'm gonna take break down each piece. All right, this particular, um, the very first bowl is 18 inches wide. It's a very large plate, okay? It's absolutely amazing. Okay, so we're gonna start with that. We're gonna have to, Actually, we're gonna have to um, hand cut this one. And then I have, I'm so excited, this beautiful purple petal a flower, all right, that we're gonna sit right on top of it. And then I've got a black um, metal hammered um, orb that's going to be its focal uh, point, okay? So I hope you'll stay with me because I'm going to show you the tips from A to Z on how to create this beautiful glass art. Okay, see you soon. Hey folks, okay, let's go over a list of items that you're going to need to actually complete this beautiful project. Okay, so you're definitely going to need uh, some gloves because we're working uh, with uh, the glass, so make sure you've got safety gloves. Um, I'm um, putting on here safety goggles. Um, I wear glasses, um, so I feel like this uh, definitely protects myself, but please, um, definitely safety goggles. I need a tape measure to uh, measure my plates. I need a chair cover. Uh, then this is going to be a way that we can mount this uh, beautiful piece of art in an exterior way or outside, if you will. And then I've got this um, beautiful hanger that I'm gonna be using uh, for this beautiful piece. And it, this is a substantial piece for a very substantial um, piece of art as well. Okay, so it's gonna carry the, the weight of, of these three uh, pieces. Okay, you're also gonna need some uh, rubber washers. Uh, I use this size generally. I get them in a very large bag from Amazon, which I find a little bit cheaper than my local stores over here. All right, you're gonna need a pair of pliers in case you need to um, pinch the, um, the toggle. You're gonna need the toggle itself. All right, uh, a magic marker to mark the center of your plates. You're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver uh, to tighten the, the um, back of the bolt on the toggle. A pair of scissors you may need just in case. You're gonna need cordless drill will do. Uh, and then I've got my diamond tip bit that I'm also going to be using to uh, cut these plates, which I will cut them uh, for you today in this video. All right, so I'm gonna need a little bit of water. Remember when we're cutting uh, through the glass, uh, the water helps uh, the diamond tipped to get cut through the glass a little bit easier with the water. So we're gonna need that. And you're just gonna need your fabulous selves with um, your fabulous um, dishes and we'll go through it from, from A to Z, okay? All right, so now we're gonna be moving on to cutting. All right, see you soon. That's nine and a half that way. And this is nine and a half. 
way. All right, so let's move on to drilling. That was simple. Got my, my Ryobi, okay, cord, uh, cordless drill with a uh, diamond tip bit by Milwaukee. Hey folks, okay, let's go ahead and get started on the drilling of this absolutely beautiful uh, plate. Um, I always say a prayer in advance, um, simply because I really do not want to do anything to damage this, um, this absolutely beautiful plate. Okay, so I've got a little bit of water here. I've got this set up. I don't know if you noticed, but I, I've got it on some styrofoam here um, so that when I punch through, when I punch through with the, um, the diamond tip drill bit, we will um, be okay and not break straight through the glass. Okay, so I'm just gonna start it off slow. Remember, you have to start at a 45 degree angle and then work yourself uh, from vertical or, or horizontal to vertical. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna come straight up, but we're gonna start at 45. You wanna take it slow with the bit so that the actual bit grabs the glass and then you start moving it further and further uh, straight up so you can actually put a perfect hole there in the center. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and start real slow. Okay, that's good. That's going right where I need it to. It's going right inside the uh, stuff. The, um, I'm going to put a little bit more water on here okay and let's get to it okay, let's see how we're doing there we're getting close okay okay we're straight all right so let me turn this over I've got my I've got my tray here. Okay, very good. Hey folks, okay, I'm he back here again to cut our next piece of glass, which is this beautiful uh, purple flower. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and measure this. I'll bring the camera down and we'll measure, and uh, then we'll continue on until we, we finish this. Okay, all right, see you soon. Okay, so which is going to put us right at 6.5. Let's see it from this side. The same thing, 6.5. All right, so I'm going to stay, lock that out there. I need to get this. All right. So from the furthest pedal out is 13, which puts this right at. 6.5, 13, so that would be right, right in here. <clears throat> All right, let's put this under here. Don't have to worry about it. Okay, so when I come in on this flower, I've got this setting up on this foam here so that uh, it will help protect uh, the dish itself when the drill um, actually penetrates through the glass. So I'm going to start at 45 degrees with my diamond tip bit and you want to start very slow. You want to start slow until the, um, the pit, the, uh, um, the bit itself is ingrained in the initial pieces of glass. Let's take it slow. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's take that off. Okay, there we go. All right, perfectly through. 
Hey folks, okay, let's go ahead and get started with assembly of this beautiful um, uh, setup here that I've gotten uh, with my uh, plates, making this gorgeous, I mean, this is just an outrageously gorgeous uh, setup here. All right, so I've got the flour that I'm going to be using. I also have my washers readily available. Okay, let's set some there. I've got my Phillips head and I've got my uh, eye goggles on and or my glasses rather and let's go ahead and give this a go. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put my first washer down. This is getting a little annoying, so sorry. All right, so I'm gonna put my first washer down and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this bolt through, straight through just like that. And then I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to put another washer, okay, there. And then I've got my, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my plate and I'm gonna go ahead and sit that right there just like that. And I'm gonna put a, another washer, okay? And then the last item that I need to uh, put in is the uh, toggle. So let me go ahead and start putting the toggle in. And it may take you a little bit of time to get the toggle started. So I'm going to take my gloves off, okay, because it makes it easier for me to use one glove on, one glove off when it comes to starting this toggle. All right, so wings down on the toggle. And just have to get that little thread lined up carefully all right and then I'm going to swing this all right and I'm also going to have to drill this um, I failed to do that so I've got to go ahead and drill this I'll be back okay let me show you the end result okay on this um, hammered ball here it's a metal ball orb uh, and all I did was drill out this metal piece that they have here and that way I can secure the uh, toggle so now I'm just going to go ahead and put the toggle and press it through just like that and as you see I'm pulling on this you can see that the orb has uh, taken the toggle all right so I'm just going to carefully <laughs> carefully turn this over and if you'd like you could get that same styrofoam and set it there but I'm kind of used to doing it this way it works what best for me so whatever works for you I've got my Phillips head screwdriver and I'm just tightening this down bit of time but it pays off substantially it's just so beautiful I love it so much all right that seems very tight to me okay so I welcome any comments um, regarding the assembly of this particular um, piece of art this was actually the um, final piece. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next week here at Zodi at the farm. Take care. Bye-bye.